Good morning, this is Mrs. P Tech and I'm coming to you from a race. Today's lesson is going to be about running a race. But first, a worship song. And back by popular demand, Sandy's here to share a few jokes with us this morning. Sandy, do you want to hear a joke? I sure do. Okay. What's harder to catch the faster you run? I don't know what. Your breath. <laughs> oh, did you like that one, Sandy? Yeah, it was really funny. It was funny. Do you have one for us? I sure do. Who? is the fastest runner of all time. Oh, who's the fastest runner of all time? Well, I don't know. Who? Adam. <laughs> he came first in the human race. <laughs> Adam was first in the human race. Adam and Eve. <laughs> oh, that was a good one, Sandy. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Let's play I Just Gotta, a game where we guess people's reactions to different situations because they just can't help it. Let's start with Jenna. Whenever I'm given broccoli, I can't help it. I just gotta ask for more. Broccoli! Refuse to eat it. No! Stand up if you think Jenna asks for more. Sit down if you say she refuses to eat it. And the correct answer is... Refuse to eat it! <laughs> this is Rob. Whenever I see a bug, I can't help it. I just gotta run away from it. Ah! Keep it as a pet. I shall call you Steven, and you shall be mine. Let's go get you some pants. Stand up if you think Rob runs away from a bug. Sit down if you think he keeps it as a pet. And the correct answer is... Keep it as a pet! Steven, you're the best pet ever. Here's Kelly. Whenever I see a clown, I can't help it. I just gotta throw a pie in his face. 
scream because clouds are really freaky. Stand up if you think she likes to throw pies at clowns. Sit down if you think clowns make her scream. And the correct answer is... I just gotta throw a pie in his face. This is Ronald and Maggie. They like to watch baseball. Whenever we watch a ball game, we can't help it. We just gotta yell, yell at the, the players. players. Come on, huh? Yeah, that was a strike. That's a lousy call. Start, Start our, our own, own game. game. You're out! Stand up if you think they like to yell at the players. Sit down if you think they like to start their own game. And the correct answer is... We, we just, just gotta, gotta yell at the players! He was out! That's ridiculous! That's it for today. Till next time, thanks for playing I Just Gotta. ever complain? Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, we push them. That's what happens is you, you push them and um, it makes them better. So the more they go through and the more, uh, the more they, they push themselves, the, the better they do when they race. When they come to the test. So, um, the race is just basically a big test to see you know, how you've been training and how you've been growing and how you've been developing as a runner. and it was really, really tricky. And as you heard from Mr. p -Tech, from Alec, and from Eliana, it takes a lot to prepare for a race. I wasn't really prepared for my race, so it was extra, extra hard. Alec and Eliana prepared for their race. They listened to their coach, and they followed all the rules and worked really hard to be able to finish their race. This all reminds me of our Christian life. Did you know that the Bible talks about running a race? It does. It says that in our Christian life, we're all going to run a race and there's a special way to do it. Let me, let me tell you. It says in Hebrews chapter 12 in verse number one, Wherefore, seeing we are also compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Those are like the things that bring us down, 
Okay, so it says, let us weigh aside every weight and sin that so easiest, easily beset us and let us run with patient, patience the race that is set before us. So did you know that you're in a race too every day? Races aren't easy. Our Christian life won't be easy. Sometimes things are gonna happen that we didn't expect. And sometimes things are gonna happen that are gonna cause us pain. And you know what? We always have God to depend on to bring us through those hard things. Just like these runners that you saw today, they prepared and they knew exactly how they should get ready to run their race. And that they would do it not running super, super fast, but they would pace themselves and that they would make good decisions about what they eat and what they drink, maybe drinking a lot of water, but only drinking a little bit of pop during the week, maybe eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, but only eating maybe a little bit of junky food, like a big juicy cheeseburger or something like that, because they wanted to do the best they could in the race. And the Bible tells us that we should do the best we can in our Christian lives, in our Christian race, and that we should be patient and always lean on God and trust him until we finally make it to the end. And do you know what the end is? The end is when we leave this body and when we go be absent from the body and present with the Lord, the Bible says. So we have to keep running our race, run, 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 all throughout our whole life and keep making good decisions and being patient, which is really, really tricky for Mrs. P-Tech, but the Bible tells us that we have to do it. So are you prepared for your race? Are you making good decisions? Think about that this week because God has big plans for us and we all have to run our race. Bye. See you really soon. Mwah, 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 mwah.